Good day, I am Juicy Baute and I'm going to present the five important types of microscopes used in biology. And these are the five important types of microscopes. First, we have simple microscope, compound microscope, electron microscope, phase contrast microscope, and interference microscope. The simple microscope. The simple microscope is just a microscope with a single magnification lens like 10 times. It is used to visualize any small objects which are so minute and not clearly visible to naked eye. A simple microscope is a microscope that uses only one lens for magnification. It is the original design of the light microscope. Van Leeuwenhoek's microscopes consisted of a small single converging lens mounted on a brass plate with a screw mechanism to hold the sample or specimen to be inspected. The compound microscope. It has an eyepiece and two or three objective lenses. The magnification power ranges from 5 times to 8 times, 10 times to 15 times, with the magnification of the objectives that ranges between 10 times to or 40 times. It is used to examine semi-transparent and translucent objects or part of objects in the form of thin slides. This is most commonly used microscope used in labs performing biological experiments and clinical diagnosis. The object is placed between the center of curvature and focus of the objective. It forms real, inverted, and magnified image on the other side of the objective. This image acts as an object for the eyepiece which then acts as a simple microscope to produce a virtual, erect, and magnified image. The electron microscope. The electron microscope uses a beam of electrons and their wave-like characteristics to magnify an object's image. Electron microscope can resolve features that are more than one million times smaller. Electron microscopes or EMs function like their optical counterparts except that they use a focused beam of electrons instead of photons to image the specimen and gain information as to its structure and composition. The primary advantage of this microscope is its powerful magnification. The potential runs the gamut of scientific fields including biology, gemology, medical and forensic sciences, metallurgy, and nanotechnologies. EMs also have many technological and industrial applications such as semiconductor inspection, computer chip manufacturing, quality control, and can even be used as part of a production line. And this is the phase contrast microscope. A phase contrast microscope most useful in observing transparent, colorless, and or unstained specimens referred to as phase objects. This took advantage of both direct and diffracted light to increase the quality and definition of transparent samples. The phase contrast microscope is able to show components in a cell or bacteria which would be very difficult to see in an ordinary light microscope. The phase contrast microscope has the capacity to observe living cells and, as such, the ability to examine cells in a natural state, 
observing a living organism in its natural state and or environment can provide far more information than specimens that need to be killed, fixed, or stained to view under a microscope. This is a high contrast, high resolution images, ideal for studying and interpreting thin specimens, ability to combine with other means of observation such as fluorescence, modern phase contrast microscopes with CCD or CMOS, computer devices can capture photo and or video images. Lastly, we have the interference microscope. The main function of interference microscope is when the incoming light is split inside an interferometer, one beam going to an internal reference surface and the other to the sample. After reflection, the beams recombine inside the in interferometer undergoing constructive and destructive interference and producing the light and dark fringe pattern. A precision translation stage and a CCD camera together generate a 3D interferogram of the object that is stored in the computer memory. The interference microscope is used for quantitative studies of macromolecules of the cell components. It is used for determination of lipid, nucleic acids, and protein contents of the cell. And those are the five important types of microscopes used in biology. Hope you learned something. Have a good day and Godspeed. This is again Juicy Bauti.